The ministry, Sikopo says, has full support from the traditional authorities to remove fences found to be illegal. The National Youth Service was contracted to remove these fences, mostly located in the Ukwangali traditional authorities' jurisdiction. Sikopo warned owners of illegal fences to remove them as soon as they are notified or the ministry will do so at the cost of those who set them up. So we have hired the National Youth Service to come and remove a total of about nine fences which were found to be illegal in Kavango West, which makes about 81 kilometers in total for all the nine fences. So they are, they are hired, they will be here for the next three weeks, removing the fence one by one until all the fences are down. The ministry, he says, is working with the Kavango West and Ohangwena regions where altogether 10 fences are to be removed. Sikopo called on other regional land boards to work with the ministry to address the issue of illegal fencing. But the communal land boards continue to investigate. Even right now, there's a team that is going to investigate some of these fences from next week. So we believe that in the next uh, month, we will receive reports on many illegal fences reported or found to be legal in some of the areas. So they are all over the traditional authorities. The operation was launched in the Ngamagoro constituency in the Mbunza traditional authorities jurisdiction where an illegal fence erected inside a 2,000 hectare small scale farming unit was dismantled. Chris Kopolo, NBC News, Ngamagoro constituency.